and then he says, <laughs> do you want to go on Dancing with the Stars? And I think, I don't even remember what happened. Like just watching back, I was like, oh, that's what happened. Because I was just like, <sighs> You had talked before about like, hey, you wanted to do Dancing with the Stars and mm -hmm. that wasn't offered to yeah. you. How are things there? You know what? Things are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. I think it was just one little falling out with mm -hmm. a specific somebody that we all know that how that happened with Dancing with the Stars. It was just that one thing and um, I think we've all just moved forward. Okay. Yeah. A couple years ago, I sat down and I interviewed you about the fact that you were frustrated with the franchise. You felt you'd been kept from this dream and this opportunity of doing Dancing with the Stars. And you felt, frankly, um, discriminated against as a woman. So how does this feel for you to get this now? Does it feel like a wrong has been righted? I, I, I'm honestly asking your, how you really felt about it. I do, I do feel that way. Um, I think, I just think it's, it goes to show that if you're resilient and you always are strong in what you believe in and fight for what you want and, and as long as you're a good person doing those things even if it takes five years you know something good will come from it i obviously had a few situations with lice where we bumped heads and didn't get along or didn't agree and i did go through a point where i was super frustrated because these male leads kept getting it and i was told i couldn't and then i got to a point where i was like you know what, that probably wouldn't have been a great time for me to go on anyways. You know, I just got off the show, didn't want to jump into another one. I'll let it go. And then I think all my like podcast listeners and people that follow me have still just been rallying for it and wanting to see it happen. And I have I kind of let it go at this point, even though it was still a dream of mine. So for it to come full circle five years later after, you know, like standing strong into what I believe, it feels like, yeah, like, it, a wrong for me, right? But I don't. I, I actually emailed Mike Fleiss this morning and Rob Mills, just saying it's been a it's wow. been a long few years. Uh, you know, we've we've had some miscommunications, if you will, and I just wanted to say thank you for for giving me the opportunity. And I think what's so special about it is, like, from my perspective, it's really it's not about going on Dancing with the Stars. It's not about another show and things like that. It's about that, like, Caitlin didn't pursue college because she pursued dancing. She mm -hmm. taught and she wanted to go professional. Her mother was a professional dancer. So to be part of something like this was just the culmination of everything you experienced and to think that it was kind of taken away from you five years ago, and five years later from being on a show, it's now come to fruition. I mean, it's, a, it's really, dancing is what brings me the most joy in life and it's something I've done since I was little. And I even said, I remember just saying that to Mike Fleiss, like, I don't care if it's on TV. I don't care if I get paid. I don't care. I just, to be in a dance studio with professional dancers, eight to 10 hours a day doing what I love to do at this point in my life would, would just make me so happy. So did you hear back from that email this morning? Yeah, he said uh, that he was so happy to hear from me and he would love to have a conversation and you know, I think we're friends now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we almost got what we thought maybe was gonna be another best moment of your life. <laughs> it wasn't a ring box, it was AirPods. Um, <laughs> like, the look on you two's faces, you both looked paralyzed with fear. Jason, were you thinking, oh crap, she thinks I'm gonna propose? Well, the, I mean, full backstory, still in a little tea here, they actually came to me asking me if I'd like to take this opportunity to propose. And um, after thinking through it, and, and no forum was there any pressure, just like, hey, if you think this is the right time, we're here to support it, we'll take care of it, make it special. And I didn't even bring it up to Kate. I'm, I shot it down after about a day of thinking because I'm just like, listen, this is a part of her history, a part of our story is next. We don't need these stories to align the same showing, et cetera. So I shot it down, but I told Caitlin after I said, hey, I want to let you know. They came to me. I did decline it. She's like, thank gosh, I wouldn't want that to be then either. So we Especially were on the same Especially not page. right after it's like I break up with Nick and I get into <laughs> yeah, and now here's no, Jason proposing. Same, no way. No. So, but the funny thing is, is when Caitlin felt my ear pop, the irony of the fact that I have like a nice dress shirt and literally in pants on, because you can't see below our waist, with ear pods at 9 p.m. on my left pocket and you felt it, I'm like, well, of course she knows because we already talked about this, but, but I think the emotions get to you and we're like, oh, Oh my God, you can't make it up. You can't. It would have been the ultimate fake out to tell her you weren't gonna do it and then do it. 
I know. But yeah, that, that would have been a third television proposal for Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> like, they say third time's the charm, but I don't know if you need to, to take that risk. I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So Caitlin, you're thinking maybe he really is popping the question right now? Yeah, that's, it went through my mind because I was, because you know, you know Chris Harrison. He's, <laughs> when he gets serious or says something like that, you're like, what could he possibly say? I know it's going to be something life altering. Like, he <laughs> missed it. And so I'm like thinking of anything. So I'm like, okay, Jason proposed it. No, okay. And then I'm thinking, well, I, the only other thing is that he's retiring and wants me to take over his job. I mean, that's, you know, that's how serious he was. And then he kind of laughed at that. And then it didn't even cross my mind what he was about to say. And so when he said, he's like, I'm 100% serious. I was like, okay, I get it, tell me. And then I thought Jason knew for sure. And I was no, like, that was the best part because you thought it was a proposal. I'm like, my face was numb, like, what the hell? Moving 100 miles an hour, like, look at this. And, and then he says, <laughs> do you want to go on Dancing with the Stars? And I think, I don't even remember what happened. Like just watching back, I was like, oh, that's what happened. Because I was just like, <laughs> and then Jason and I look at each other. Like, <laughs> I couldn't speak. I mean, Caitlin, like you, you know, you've worked with these people so long, you know, these producers, they're, they're friends of yours. So the fact that the secret was kept from you, I, I just think is awesome. Does that kind of blow your mind? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I love surprises. <laughs> I usually like people, it's hard to surprise me. And I honestly just had zero idea. And I love that they caught my genuine reaction. And I love that I'll be able to always look back on that moment. And it was just, it was really, really special. Are you rehearsing in your living room for Dancing with the Stars? Are you getting your cardio in? Is Jason your partner right now? What is the prep right now? Are, I feel like that's cheating. Are we allowed to do ballroom dance lessons? No, oh, good. <laughs> good question. I don't know. Well, like, look, the thing is, this is kind of an unprecedented moment, another one for 2020. Um, but. I don't know what you've been told. Like you got the news from Chris Harrison, but have you heard from anyone on Dancing with the Stars? Have they given you a, a playbook for what to do next? <laughs> Not really, no. Okay. I mean, I've always talked to one of the casting directors because she contacted me five years ago when I was supposed to go on. So she's just kind of like said, congratulations, it finally happened. Can't wait for what's next. But that's about all I know right now. Uh, my mom has been sending me plenty of YouTube <laughs> tutorials on how to um, ballroom dance. I have hired a trainer. I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life. I've cut back on the wine, sadly, uh, because I, Whoa. Yeah, I know. That was going to be my comment. Our Breaking drinking news. Drinking <laughs> consumption was like this. Chris gave us that news. It's like full training, eating perfectly, am, not drinking. I am in the zone. I just want to go in feeling my best and my strongest. Amazing. And so do you know anything about the timeline? Because filming in LA is starting to happen again. Have you been told you got to be in Los Angeles at this date or how it will work with the pandemic? They're saying around the fall. So I'm not sure exact dates because I think they're probably still working things out, but I know they're planning on the fall. Okay. And I don't know if they've told you, will it be you're dancing with masks on? I, I, really, I really don't know. <laughs> well, they'll probably have to like test us or something yeah. so that we don't have to wear masks. Um, well, that shows great at costumes, though. They could really bedazzle a mask or two, you know? No, yeah, but <laughs> how do you breathe? A dancing is a very hard cardio, and how would you breathe with a mask on? Yeah, right? I think, but Chris and I need to be front row cheering you up. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to be an audience if you can? No. I hope so. so yeah, many that's a, I, no, yeah, I, we were cheering Hannah on. We got to be there to cheer you on. Um, have you heard from Hannah or talked to her since she was just a bachelorette winner? Uh, I don't think she's watched yet, but oh, I have heard from her. So, so she's reached out to me and said like, how are you doing, blah, blah, like, but she, I don't think she has heard yet. Or maybe she knows and she's just teasing me, but she actually just a few hours ago reached out and started to talk to me. So maybe uh, we might actually have a phone call tomorrow. Because the season was airing, she was just like sending you a little support? Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and last question, do you have a dream Partner, who would you like to be paired with? Yes, but he isn't there anymore. Oh, Derek? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, can you just pull him in for one season and have me dance with him? Um, no, I'll be happy with whoever they partner me with. I just, I don't, I just feel like they're all incredible. They have to be yeah. to be on that show. So my dream partner could be just whoever they put me with. <laughs> have you heard? Well, I, if you, I mean, knowing who is on, like, look, they could bring Derek back. Anything could happen. Would you make any selection right now? If Derek was there, I'd pick him. <laughs> Other who um, Bleb is really good. He's great. Yeah, he's great. They're all great. You're on the show. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, and have you heard anything about anyone else celebrity-wise who will be there? I have heard a vague rumor. Maybe it's just fan cry for Carol Baskin. <sighs> Wow, that would be wild. No, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Imagine you, if you lose to Carol Baskin. If I lose to Carol oh, Baskin, it's that's so just, mad. You can't lose. To I can't Baskin. lose to Carol Baskin. There's no way that will happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. I didn't even think about it. We've been thinking because I, I know nobody. And last night, me and you yeah. and your mom, we were all sitting around trying to talk about like who could possibly be on. And I think Chris Cuomo would be. Oh, a Cuomo brother? Oh, Dr. Fauci, that'd be a good one. I would really like to see, like, Zach from Saved by the Bell. Mark Paul Gosler. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Just fulfill, like, a teen dream? Yeah, <laughs> like, my 13-year-old self would have a field day with that one. <laughs> Jason's like... <laughs> Knock myself out. Let's bring the pow pink Power Ranger up there, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what... See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you were obsessed with the pink Power Ranger. You'd probably want her to be there if you were doing it. I love it.